Hi guys, Alex here and I'm just doing another very quick tutorial. So this is not exactly a modifier as such, but it is a really cool feature that I recently discovered thanks to Derek Elliott who has some amazing videos on his um, on Blender on his YouTube channel. So I'm going to give credit where credit's due and I'll, I'll actually pin a link down in the comments to take you to that video. So the whole point of this um, video is imagine you've got two components and they need to fit snugly so imagine you've got a box and you've got a lid to the box and it has to fit inside quite nicely so you look at this um, tube here now this square cylinder as such and it doesn't fit nicely in the box there's a gap as you can see over here right so it's not very precise modeling as such and although blender isn't known for its precision modeling there is a way to have the, in this case, the rod and the inner box to adapt to the same size so it's a nice snug fit. Often it's very important to get things to be snug if they are supposed to be snug so it looks more realistic, particularly when you model, when you render your model. So as I say, imagine having an empty box and you've got a top and it's a lid that's supposed to go on top of it and it's supposed to snugly fit. In this case, it doesn't fit snugly. So what do you do? So this is again, thanks to Derek's uh, video. I haven't seen many people, I haven't seen many videos talking about this feature, so I thought I would actually introduce it to you guys. So the first thing I will do is I'll go into view and viewport, a uh, viewpoint and go to front. And if I go into say the wireframe, again, you can confirm that the rod and the inner box wall don't line up. So what you do, if I go back into the solid mode, first and foremost, I can select both parts. So I can press A on the keyboard to select both, both objects at the same time. And you can go into edit mode. And automatically, this is a new thing on Blender as well, where you can actually select two, three, four, five parts and go into edit mode all at once, which wasn't possible in past models. So right now I'm in edit mode. And by the way, edit mode, you can select from here. So you select both parts and go into edit mode. So both parts are actually selected. I've just deselected them right now. So I'll select them one more time. And also I'll go into wireframe so we can see what's actually happening through the model itself. And you then go into type uh, uh, shift S on the keyboard. And then you go into selection to grid. So I'm not sure how you can actually find selection to grid on the main navigation at the top here but it's shift and then S on the keyboard, selection to grid. Now, before I click on that button, watch what happens to the model. It just adapts, right? So now it's a snug fit. Now it's important that you're actually, I believe you have to be in um, the front or back or top view because it's a selection that takes place against the grid. And as you can see in the background, it has to be like, linear like a, for example if you had it like this it can't really understand where to snap against the grid and it will sort of distort the model somewhat so now now that we go we can go back into the object mode here and i'm going to check the solid section and we can look closely if you look closely it's snugly it snugly fits so that's a really cool feature that's um that that's selection to grid feature. So I thought I'd just introduce it to you guys. And once again, give credit where credit's due. Thanks very much for this, Derek Elliott. And I'll be sure to be watching some more of your videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you do, feel free to you know subscribe, uh, leave a comment, um, and I'll I'll answer back as soon as I possibly can. Thanks, guys, and speak to you soon. Bye bye.